Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to pick up uh, where we left in our first video. So we saw what is a Jenkins pipeline and we also saw some of real-time simple examples of how to build pipelines on different languages like Python, Java, Ruby, uh, right? So now we are going to move forward and we'll see what are the other features uh, present in Jenkins pipeline, right? How it helps you to attain your automation uh, in a DevOps pipeline. So uh, I'm going to pick up the same job which we created uh, last time. So let's go back to our Jenkins script, pipeline script. And here's the pipeline script to build a simple Python pipeline, right? So where we are just printing the Python version. Now, coming to pipelines, so in Jenkins pipeline provides you an easy way of uh, defining multiple steps inside your pipeline to attain different uh, types of automation and uh, to complete your dev uh, continuous delivery pipeline, right? So each step can be considered as a simple command which can which can be executed to for, to perform uh, some task right so the current version of pipeline which you are looking at it has got a shell command so this is this can be run only on a linux or a unix based systems right it won't work with windows systems because shell uh, you cannot run a shell command on windows right now, if you want to run uh, your commands or a pipeline on a Windows machine, so you need to ch uh, just change the shell into a batch command, right? So you just need to make it bat, and then you need to provide the command here. So it could be anything, but yeah. So that's how uh, you define a Windows batch command, right? Now, there are some other features like uh, if you want to handle some failures in your pipeline in a certain way, you can also modify your steps. So, for example, inside steps, you can also put a condition to so that your Jenkins pipeline will actually try to run your shell script multiple times, right, before it fails. So, using retry uh, you can actually uh, run this shell command three times before it actually fails your pipeline so in jenkins pipeline you need to remember that until and unless every step passes your pipeline will not pass right so if any of the step fails your pipeline will fail so this way you can uh, put a retry attempt for your uh, shell scripts right um so it could it could be any any shell script but just for example i will take a deployers.sh so we have a deploy script which deploys an application to some server so we want to retry a max of three times to run this script right now similarly you can also put a timeout for your uh, steps right so you can put time or what what amount of time you want to do and then you can also mention the units right so it would be minutes and then um, we can put another script here uh, so for example you want to run some test uh, dot sh right unit and then this has to be in caps so this has to be in caps so let's do that right so this is how uh, so ideally uh, it will not be a test after deploy but this is just for example you can also put some check dot sh right so this is how uh, your steps will be performed what will happen is uh, it will retry for a maximum three times to run this deploy dot sh and it will time out after five minutes 
uh, if this check.sh does not pass, right? So you can obviously change um, according to you how you want to build your steps, right? And uh, what kind of fixes you want to do, depending on your pipeline. But this is how you can uh, do a retry and timeout on different steps. Now, coming to next. So uh, you want to run some steps, some scripts after your steps are completed. So for example, you want to uh, post some results, you want to archive your results, or uh, you want to post uh, some success message after your steps are completed. So how do you do that, right? So that will be coming under the post action, right? So once your steps are completed, right? So you can write post. Or um, you can also write it outside the stages, but I'll just uh, do it inside the build stage itself, right? So what do I want to post? Now, let's see something in the pipeline syntax, right? So <clears throat> I want to archive the artifacts, right? So, but what, what files do I want to archive? So for example, slash dot HTML and generate the script. So it will archive all the HTML files. Right, so you can also do a lot of other things. Like you can uh, surround this uh, based on some condition only you'd want to do this, right? So say for example, you do want to do this always, right? So we can put the always, and this is going to always archive your artifacts, right? So similarly, you want to do something on success, right? And similarly, you want to do something on failure of your pipeline. So this is how you can perform different kind of actions on uh, post your steps or stages of your pipeline, right? So this is all uh, regarding the features of pipeline, what you can do inside your steps, what you can do post steps, right? So join me in my next session where uh, we'll look into some of the other features of pipeline and some of the other concepts which are used within pipelines. So thank you for joining. And finally, please share your valuable comments and feedback with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, QS Script. Uh, you can find uh, the subscribe link on my YouTube channel. You can also visit me at uh, my site, qscript.com. Thank you.